And at the very beginning of this video, people had Canelo winning. That's not a big thing. It's not the fact that you win. It's how you win. Canelo Alvarez took a moment. Took down every ounce with every inch of Amir Khan's game plan. What do the great fighters do? They make adjustments. He collected the data. Master Boxing did a post prior to the fight showing what Canelo Alvarez would have to do to shrink the ring. To make all of that stuff that Amir Khan was doing prior to this fight be irrelevant. What was he doing prior to this fight? Pumping it up. Pumping it up. Pumping it up. It doesn't really matter. All of that crate looking conditioning. All of those things that say nothing about boxing. This stuff does not show up in the ring. He, those, those curls he was doing in social media. You know... Pull downs, rapid pace. Didn't help him when that over right, overhand right came. You know why? Because whenever you're a boxer, you need to learn to box. You need to stay boxed and stop all this other stuff. Robert Guerrero's on the record talking about CrossFit is making his boxing better. Boxing makes your boxing better. Guys who come to my boxing class years ago or afraid to come to my class. And we'll be like, yeah, I'm going to get in shape before I come to your class. I said, the only thing to get you ready for my class is my class. I don't care what you do. The only thing to get you ready for that ring when they lock the door to that dungeon is that. What Amir needed to focus on is the fact that Canelo Alvarez's IQ, boxing IQ, is much higher than what he thought. Amir Khan, I said, and I was on the record, I did my prediction on ESPN, the insider, so you can go out there, you can go follow my feed on Twitter, and you can see that. Master Boxing, you'll see it click right in there under Johnny Wilds, my man at ESPN. What we did was kind of give our little insight, a little quick blurb on what it is. Amir Khan is a blessed, gifted, speed artist. That's what he has. But his boxing IQ is average at best because with the likes of a Virgil Hunter in your corner, Andre Ward has won the Super Six, a gold medal in the Olympics. He's a world champion. He's undefeated. That's what happens when your boxing IQ is as high as the guy who's training you. So because he works on boxing, he's teaching Amir Khan the exact same thing. It's just about his wherewithal inside of the ring. Amir Khan stood no chance to win that fight tonight because he was at a bigger weight. Gaining weight does not make you um, legitimately that weight class. And he learned the hard way. What did he do? What was the similarities of what hey, you've already seen that about eight, six to eight, ten months ago? Back when Jesse Vargas fought Timothy Bradley. Faint low, come over the top. Bam. Canelo, he changed up six or seven punches. He, he saw he wasn't throwing the hook, so he started fainting the hook. Then he started fainting, then going down right hook to the body. Lyakovich did it against Lehman Brewster. Why do I remember that? Straight off the top, the fight just happened 30 minutes ago. Why do I remember? Because I am boxing. And I'm a boxing library, and I have a boxing library, and I live the game, and I love the game. And whenever you are versed inside of the game, you know these things. That move... Canelo Alvarez, another guy who used it very well, uh, Chavez, people just think he was a great combination puncher, um, Eric Morales, El Terrible, the boys know how to switch it, they know how to switch punches up, fainting it here and taking it there, taking it here, over the top, here, faint, boom, I mean, just diverse IQs, it takes that. You can't beat guys who have IQ, IQs excuse me, on that level. These boys ain't playing. So whenever he got in the ring, he really ran into the monkey's uncle. Like I said before, Canelo is a verb. Don't get caught up in the smoke and mirrors. 
he got a lesson when he got in the ring with Floyd Mayweather because he was trying to do what Floyd Mayweather does best, which is box. Canelo Alvarez cut the ring off slowly but surely, touched him to the body over and over, brought those hands down, threw those feints, started dropping and coming over the top. He knew what was going to happen. I knew he was just going to beat him up. He already started to cut him. So I wanted to break this part of this fight down and make people understand that there are a lot of smoking mirrors going out there. And when you fight at that level, you're not scared of other fighters. It's a business. So I'm going to explain that to you. So don't turn this off right now. I'm going to take another 60 seconds and explain this. Whenever you go get service for a phone, do you leave before they turn your phone on? No. Why? Because that's bad business. It's not time for that Golovkin fight. And you can speak down in the comment box and say how you feel about it. But understand, I don't just talk boxing. I live it. 20 years almost now in the sport. I'm a talker about it and I lived it. So I understand you materialize a fight for the mainstream audience. You don't market to people who are already going to buy the fight. You're marketing to people who are not. So you grow your numbers. It's good for your money. It's good for your brand. It's good for boxing because you put it in a high light. These guys aren't Sugar Ray Leonard. You know, you can walk around, you can do the stuff, you try to do the stuff Sugar Ray Leonard did in the ring, but you're not Sugar Ray Leonard. And that's what Amir Khan was trying to do. But you're not Sugar Ray Leonard. You have to build a fight. You have to grow the fight. Why? Because you want more people who are not going to see the fight. That's how Floyd was so successful. He got people to dislike him so people would talk about him. Keep putting his name in the media. All that negative energy and that positive energy brought new blood to the sport. And that's what has to happen. It's starting to galvanize and it's starting to pick up momentum. You got companies like Apple behind guys like Triple G. You got Under Armour behind Canelo. These guys are building and Michael Jordan's behind Triple G. Why? Because special fighters. You have to build it up. Even Keith Thurman and Sean Porter is too early, but nobody cares because it's on PBC and you want to see a great fight. But if they wanted to, they could totally. If Floyd Mayweather was their promoter, that fight would just grow and grow and grow. Like I said before, I'm just here to give you good insight and thought-provoking content. That's what it is. But like I said before, Canelo is a verb, believe me, and he's coming. And I call him the Mexican machine gun. That's all I got. Amir Recover, it was, it was a real thing that he did tonight to step up and fight the verb. <laughs> Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican machine gun. And I thank you guys for watching because you're watching Master Boxing. And this is where we break the fight world down round by round. So long. Boom. Now that shot there is known as the snot bubble shot.